guys, this is Mama Lu. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the graphs of linear equation in two variables. A linear equation in two variables is an equation that can be written in the form of ax plus by equals c. So ax plus by equals c is the standard form of the linear equation in two variables. So as you can see, the highest degree of the x and y terms in the equation is 1. So example of linear equations in two variables. So let's say 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 4. So this is one example no, of linear equation in two variables. Another one, we can have negative 5x plus 2y is equal to 5. Or, pwede rin natin, uh, x minus 2y is equal to 4. So, these three examples are linear equations in two variables, x and y, which are all written in the standard form, which is ax plus by is equal to c. So, as I mentioned, today we're going to talk about the graphs of linear equations in two variables. So, let us start with the first way or first method of graphing a linear equation. So let's now graph a linear equation in two variables. So the first method of graphing a linear equation in two variables is by, by point plotting. Point plotting is the basic method of graphing a linear equation in two variables. So, the idea here is to plot as many points that satisfy the given equation until a clear picture of the graph is drawn. So, for example, you're asked to draw the graph of y is equal to 3x minus 1. So, how do we do this? Okay. So, all points with coordinates x, y that satisfy the given equation constitute the graph of the given equation. So, how do we find a point? No? So, you're going to assign a real number to the independent variable here. So, ano ba yung ating independent variable dito? Our independent variable in this equation is x. So, we're going to assign real numbers to x and then solve for the corresponding value of y. Halimbawa, naisip natin i-assign kay x ang negative 2. O kaya, since kailangan natin ng maraming points, sabihin natin negative 2, Negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Hanggang 3. Sige. So, mag-assign tayo ng value kay x and then isolve natin yung corresponding value ng ating dependent variable na y. Okay. So, y is equal to 3. Kung ang ating x ay negative 2. So, 3 times negative 2 minus 1. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Minus 1 is negative 7. So, we put here negative 7. The same with negative 1. So, we replace x. So, here the given equation. y equals 3x minus 1. We replace x by negative 1. No? Minus 1. 
So, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 minus 1. And that is equal to negative 4. Okay? Now, what will happen if your x is 0? What will be the value of y? So, 3 times 0 is 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Then this one, 3 times 1 minus 1. 3 times 1 is 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1 is 5. Then 3 times 3 is 9 minus 1 is 8. So we have here now the set of points, no? the x and the y coordinate that will satisfy the graph of this equation. Okay? So now it's time for us to graph. We have negative 2, negative 7. So to graph that, negative 2, negative 7, you start from the origin, since that is negative we move two units to the left, so that's negative 2, and then negative 7. From negative 2, you move 7 units downward. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is the point negative 2, negative 7. What about negative 4, negative 1? So this is neg uh, negative 1, negative 4. So this is negative 1 and this is negative 4. Okay? Then we have 0, negative 1. 0, negative 1. Okay? There you go. And then we have 1, 2. From the, z from the origin, we move to the right because that's positive. And move three, two units up. So one, two. Okay. Then we have two, five. So from here, one, two, and then five. Okay, so we have this point. And then we have three, eight. Yan yung ating uh, final point. So we have three, then eight. Okay. So, we have here the six points, no? Then we can connect now the six points. And that's the graph of y equals 3x minus 1. So, we connect the six points. Ayan. Kunyari, straight line. Ayan. So, now, it's a straight line now, okay? So, we put two arrows. Which means that the line may be extended infinitely in both directions. Okay, so let's now talk about another method of graphing a linear equation in two variables. And that is graphing by using the intercepts. But let us talk about intercepts first. Ano ba itong intercepts? Every line in a Cartesian plane intersects the x-axis or the y-axis or both. Now, take a look at this line. So, this line intersects both the x and the y-axis. Now, look at the intersection of the line. Huh? The intersection of the line and the x-axis is a point that consists our x-intercept. So, that is the intersection of the line and the x-axis. So, the coordinates of this point, we have, let's denote the x-intercept as A and 0. Now, the intersection of this line with the y-axis is the y-intercept. No? That is the point that contains our y-intercept. So, we have the coordinates as 0, B. So, B stands for the y-coordinate since that is the y-intercept. Let us practice first in finding 
Da? Find the x and y intercepts of a line of the line whose equation is 3x plus 5y equals 15. Okay, so kung babalikan natin ito, so this is our x-intercept, no? We have the coordinate of the point A0. So, ibig sabihin, you are going to denote that y or your y-coordinate is 0. So, to get the x-intercept, let y be equal to 0. So, we have 3x plus 5 and y is 0. 0 is equal to 15. So, we have 3x plus 0 equals 15. 3x is equal to 15 divided by 3. So, x is equal to 5. So, therefore, our x-intercept is 5, 0. So, that's the coordinate of the x-intercept. Okay, now, what about the y-intercept? Diba? We have 0, b. So, you're going to let x be equal to 0 this time. So, let x equal to 0. So, from the equation, 3, uh, 3x plus 5y equals 15. So, 3 times 0 plus 5y equals 15. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 5y is 5y equals 15. Divided by 5, divided by 5, so y equals 3. So, we have the point 0, 3 as our y-intercept. Okay, so intercepts, yung concept about intercepts is now clear to you. Let us try to graph an equation using the intercept method. Okay, graph. 5x minus y equals 10 using the intercept method. Okay, so in graphing a linear equation using the intercept method, first, you're going to determine the x and the y intercept no, of the given equation. Katulad ng ginawa natin kanina. So, 5x minus y equals 10, kuhanin natin yung x-intercept muna. So, paano makuha yung x-intercept? Para makuha yon, let us denote that y is equal to 0. So, 5x minus, sabi nga natin, y is equal to 0, 5x minus 0 equals 10. So, 5x equals 10 divided by 5, divided by 5. So, x is equal to 2. So, therefore, we have the point 2, 0. And that is our x-intercept. Okay. Now, how about the y-intercept? Kuhanin natin yung y-intercept nung 5x minus y is equal to 10. Diba? Para makuha yung y-intercept, let x naman, let x be equal to 0. So, 5 times 0 minus y equals 10. 5 times 0 is 0 minus y equals 10. So, y is equal to negative 10. So, we have the point 0, negative 10 as our y-intercept. Okay, so let's now plot the two points. Anyway, two points determine a line. So, pwede na yung dalawang points na yon, Yung x-intercept at yung y-intercept. So, we have 2, 0. 
So, 1, 2, 0. So, this is 2, 0. Then, the other point is 0, negative 10. 0, negative 10 is here. Okay, so this is our x-intercept. We have 2, 0. And this is our y-intercept. We have 0, negative 10. So, this is the graph, no? Connecting these two intercepts, this is the graph of 5x minus y is equal to 10. Pwede na yung two points na yan, yung dalawang intercepts. However, kung gusto mong makasiguro, you can also choose a third point. No? Yung pangatlong point mo, you are going to represent either x or y by a non-zero number. So, limbawa, pinili mo ang x equals 1. No? So, tingnan natin. Kung ang x ay 1 sa ating equation, 5 times 1, ano kaya yung y? So, 5 times 1 minus y equals 10. 5 times 1 is 5 minus y equals 10. So, negative y equals 10 minus 5. Negative y is equal to 5. So, y is equal to negative 5. So, our third point will be 1, negative 5. And then, tignan natin kung nasa line yon if it is contained in the line. Kung nasa line yon therefore, wala tayong mali dun sa dalawang intercepts na kinuha natin. So, 1, negative 5. Okay, so 1, negative 5 as our third point is in the line. So, therefore, this is the graph of 5x minus y equals 10. Okay, so alam na po natin ngayon kung paano mag-graph ng linear equation in two variables using the point plotting at saka ng uh, intercept method. So, merong ibang nagtatanong kasi nakakakita sila ng equation, no? When an equation contain only one variable of first degree, ang graph po nun is either a vertical line or a horizontal line. Halimbawa, okay, ganito yung given. Oh, let's, uh, let's take this as example 3. Ganito daw yung given. Y is equal to 5. Okay. Nag-iisa lang yung ating variable, y is equal to 5. So, sabi ko nga, if it is, uh, when it contains only one variable of first degree, its graph may either be a horizontal line or a vertical line. Okay. Okay, so paano naman kung ang ating equation ay x is equal to 2? So, ibig sabihin niyan, the variable x takes the value of 2 for any assigned value of y. So, hanapin natin yung x equals 2. So, 1, 2, so ayun po yon yung point na yon. So, the graph is a vertical line. So, this is our graph for x equals 2. Okay, guys. So, that's all for now. I hope you like this video at nakatulong ito sa inyo. Shout out nga pala dun sa aking Malunatics from BSA1. Hello! Okay, so bye for now, guys. See you in our next video.